This is Mahmoud Hassan Maras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solders. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, first I will draw a uh, circle of radius of 75. Uh, this circle. And after that, I will draw a center line from here. And here we can say we we have a circle uh, circular profile of 40 radius so i can uh, offset 20 unit from this center line in upper side and 20 unit from the center line in lower side and then i will uh, make a fillet of 50 radius so let's start drawing so select the uh, top plane now select a sketch now select a circle and place the circle to the origin and dimension it to 75 uh, multiplied by 2 now press ok now select a center line and place the center line to the origin and draw a horizontal line of 135 unit because uh, the distance from, from this origin to this line is 135 unit ok now press ok after that as here we can see the total distance is 40 unit so if i draw two offset from this center line the dif the difference between the length will be 20 unit from in both side okay now select offset entities now select this line and dimension to 20 unit now select bidirectional now select cap int now select line now press ok now i will trim all the unnecessary part that i don't need now press ok after that here we have i have a fillet of 50 radius now select fillet of strength now dimension it to 50 unit now select this point and this point now press ok now isometric it here we can see it has a fillet of 20 unit so the total distance is 40 unit so so i will distribute it to 40 unit in the upper direction i will distribute it to 20 unit and in the direction 2 i will distribute it to 20 unit also then it will be total unit of 40 unit now as the uh, fillet is 20 unit radius so i will select the fillet option now select 20 unit now select upper corner of the edge and the lower corner uh, of the edge now press ok now we uh, we have gotten almost this shape but after that i will draw this circular revolve boss profile and the distance between this point and this point is 110 unit so after pointing out this point and this point 110 unit i will draw a circular profile of radius of 100 unit so i will select the front plane select front plane and select sketch now normal to it now select point and point place the point here if you want to check the distance uh, from this point to this point uh, it is 20 unit okay now i have to draw another point here uh, and dimension it to distance of 110 unit now dimension it to 110 unit now press ok now select circle and draw a circle of 100 unit radius 100 unit radius now press ok drag the circle here ok now select this point and this circle now select coincident now press ok now again select the other point and select the circle now select coincident now press ok 
now close the boundary as it is here to get the circular profile a close shape okay as we will going to revolve both it so i don't need the full shape i will uh, take the half shape now i select the trim entities and trim all the necessary part now press ok now for a better view give isometric view now go to features and revolve both and select the axis of revolution this line now press ok if we see from the side here we can see we have drawn the circular revolve boss profile okay now we will draw this rectangular size which contain the semicircle at the top of each one for drawing this i will draw one of them and then i will circle space pattern all other three one okay so first of all i draw i will draw the outer circle the outer circle has a 45 radius and then i will draw the inner circle the inner circle has a 20 radius okay now i will select the top plane select top plane now sketch now normal to it now select circle and draw a circle of 45 radius and again select circle and place it to origin and draw a circle of 20 radius i will uh, construct geometry the inner circle okay here we can see uh, we have a semicircle at the top of here so this semicircle uh, has a radius of 10 so i select the circle and draw a semicircle uh, so draw a circle here later on i will make it a semicircle so dimension it to 10 radius now press ok now we can see we have a horizontal line here and horizontal line here so i will select line and place the line here and draw a horizontal line from the upper point of the circle and also place the point here and draw a horizontal line also okay now i will select trim into this and trim all the unnecessary part i don't need okay it can be seen we have drawn this shape fully now i will draw this other three shape by using linear sketch pattern a circular sketch pattern now say circular sketch pattern now select this parameter now select a quantity four here now press ok now you will uh, i will isometric it as here you can see it has a extrude boss of through all so i will extrude boss it to through all now select features a uh, extrude cut now select extrude cut it to through all through all both sides as you can see i have drawn uh, the 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different